Hello. Hi. So this is my favorite video to film every year because I only get to film it once a year. Today, I'm gonna be giving you an updated bookshelf tour for 2016. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah. Since last bookshelf tour, obviously I have moved. I'm in a different room now, so my bookcases are in a different home. But um, I still have two bookcases and I also have an extra little shelf that I had to put some books on because I have too many books. Um, I don't remember exactly how many, like number-wise, but I'd guess between 100 and 200. Yes! So, um, I guess we just gotta get started. These are all the books that I own right now in 2016. So this is my first bookcase. It's the one that's right next to my door. And overall, this one basically is just series and favorite books. So obviously I strung some lights down the side of it and then I have some odds and ends, some children's books, I got badges, I have, you know, favorite series up the wazoo. This is what my bookshelf looks like. And now we're gonna get a little bit more personal. All right, so we're gonna start all the way on top of my bookcase, this little shelfy thing. Um, and up here, I mostly just have like big books that I can't really fit on my bookcases and some like children's books that I have. Um, I also have a couple odds and ends, obviously. So all the way on the left, we have um, a stuffed dog that I got from my parents and it needed a home, so now it's on my bookcase. <laughs> And then on the right, we actually have my high school graduation cap with its, I don't know, cord? Is that what it's called? The thingy on the side? Um, it says 13 on it because I graduated in 2013. Starting on the left, the top one, we have The Complete Adventures of Curious George by Margaret and H.A. Ray. The Velveteen Rabbit. Under that, we have Santa Mouse by Michael Brown. And beneath that, there is a collection of poetry that I was actually published in. And beneath that, I have Percy Jackson's Greek Gods by Rick Riordan. And then on the right, some of my children's books, I have The Tale of Despero by Kate DeCamelo. Anne of Green Gables by Lucy Maud Montgomery. Children of the Lamp. And if you don't know the story behind this book, I think it's in my like third updated bookshelf tour. I like talk about it and it's it's a story. You should listen to it in that video. So that is my top shelf and it's really cool and we're gonna move down to the next shelf. So now we're moving on to the first and top shelf of my bookcase. So on here I have all my mass market paperback books because it's, it looks like a small shelf so I feel like they all fit well up here. All the way on the left we have the Sword of Truth series by Terry Goodkin. I do have three other books in this series but they're on my other bookcase for good reason. So the books that I have on this bookcase, Stone of Tears, Blood of the Fold, Temple of the Winds, Soul of the Fire, Faith of the Fallen, The Pillars of Creation, Naked Empire, and Chain Fire. And if we move on to the right, I have my Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin, which I have read, by the way. I'm still waiting on Winds of Winter. So uh, the books of the Song of Ice and Fire series so far are A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, a Storm of Swords, A Feast for Crows, and A Dance with Dragons. And obviously this shelf also has a couple little odds and ends. So on the left I have a little paper flower that my friend Madian made for me and I have a couple of those on this bookcase. Um, and then I also have my dragon egg paperweight that I got with the season one Game of Thrones DVD set. I have a, a Funko, Pop Funko, is that what it's called? I don't really know, of Daenerys Targaryen and I got it from my wonderful friend Civi at Cookie Addictions. That is my mass market paperback series shelf. Woo! So next we move on to my second shelf, and this shelf makes some sense, but also no sense at all. So all the way on the left is Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. You're probably wondering why it's on the same shelf as Sarah J Mass. I don't really have an answer. It fit there, and it looks pretty, so I'm just gonna leave it and hope for the best. <laughs> And then obviously on my right, this is my Sarah J Mass book collection. She's one of my favorite authors and so I had to give her almost her own shelf. In the middle we have the Throne of Glass series which is Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Era of Fire, Queen of Shadows, 
and the Assassin's Blade, which is the novella bind-up for the series. And then of course next to the Throne of Glass series we have the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. So we have the first book, Akatar, A Court of Thorns and Roses, and next to that the sequel, A Court of Mist and Fury, which is probably my favorite book of the year so far. Just just throwing that out there. That's my shrine to Sarah J Mass, while also throwing in some nice gentle comedy from Jenny Lawson. So as you can tell next to my bookcase around this area I have a little command hook with some stuff and so I thought I'd just go over the stuff for you. The first thing we have is my Disney pin collection which I pulled out of I don't know where but I found it and so these are all pins that I got from Walt Disney World probably around 2006, 2007. I haven't really been back since then so I haven't had a chance to like add more. I also have this random big honcho media like sash thing which it doesn't really have that much significance, it's from BEA. Um, and so I needed things to put pins on, so I just kind of put some pins on there. So I have my Zenith pin, which is Sasha Allsberg's upcoming book. And then I have uh, Clairvoyance Ruin. And then after that I have Too Strange the Dreamer pins by Lainey Taylor. So I also have um, a bunch of badges on here. The first one is my BookCon badge, which I got pressed for this past year, aka like two weeks ago, and it was awesome. And uh, to go along with that, I also have my BEA 2016 badge, which I also got pressed for, and don't even get me started on those BEA feels. I also have my press pass from Y'all Fest 2015, which I attended uh, last November. And along with that, I have my LeakyCon badge from 2012, which I found and I'm excited about. And then I I also have a bunch of badges from my school's showcase series. So my school puts on concerts that the students run basically and I have been lucky enough to be photographer for about three of those productions. I have best of the best showcase, country showcase from uh, 2015 I believe, and then I have Christian showcase from 2015 I believe. Those are all my little sashes and badges and things and hopefully it'll continue to grow in the upcoming year. So now we're on to my third shelf and this is the shelf that just has so many favorite series, I can't even handle it. All the way on the left, we have my Angel Fall slash Penryn and the End of Days trilogy. And so that series is obviously Angel Fall, World After, and End of Days. Next to that, I have my Lunar Chronicles collection. Um, I do not have any of the novellas or the novella bind up, but I do have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter. And next to the Lunar Chronicles, we have my Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins, and that is The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. And next to The Hunger Games, I have uh, my collection of Mara Dyer books. I do not have the first book still, but I have the last two. And those are The Evolution of Mara Dyer and The Retribution of Mara Dyer. The next book is Vicious by V.E. Schwab, and this kind of goes into my V.E. Schwab collection. I only have three books, but they're great books. So next to Vicious, I have A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab and the sequel, A Gathering of Shadows by B.E. Schwab. And can we just take a second to appreciate the Conjuring of Light book cover? All right, back to business. I also have on this shelf one of the little flowers that Madian gave me and a block of wood with my best friend Laura's face on it. That is my third shelf. The fourth shelf on my bookcase is full of Harry Potter and JK Rowling. All the way on the left I have a couple of random Harry Potter books that aren't actually Harry Potter books. The Magical Worlds of Harry Potter, What Will Happen in Harry Potter 7, Harry a History by Melissa Anelli, The Tales of Beetle the Bard by JK Rowling, and then I have my LeakyCon 2012 event book and I felt like it belonged on the shelf so it's staying on the shelf. Next to those books I obviously have my Harry Potter series and the Harry Potter series is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and then I have two copies of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I have the American version and I have the new British version. All the way at the end I have The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling, which I still haven't finished. And so then, of course, I have a couple odds and ends. I have my ticket for platform nine and three quarters, which my friend got me from London. I have uh, my pair of 3D Harry Potter glasses from my Deathly Hallows Part 2 midnight premiere showing. I have a random Harry Potter seal making set that Laura got me when she was in London. So that is my Harry Potter JK Rowling shelf. Now we are down to my fifth and final shelf on this bookcase. And 
I think it's pretty obvious, but this is my Cassandra Clare shelf. So all the way on the left, I have the Infernal Devices series, and the Infernal Devices are Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. Next to the Infernal Devices, I have my Mortal Instruments books, and the Mortal Instruments series is City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. And finally, the last book on this bookcase is, of course, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, and this is the first book in the Dark Artifices series. Also, can we take a second to appreciate that Magnus Bane is finally getting his own trilogy. I have one more paper flower from Madian. I also have a Lady Midnight lanyard that I got at BEA. And finally, I have a little J that's paper mache and this was made for me by my good friend Hannah, and it has a uh, Clockwork Princess quote on there, so that's pretty cool. So that is it. That is my final shelf on this bookcase, and now we can go on to the second bookcase. This is my second bookcase, although it was the first bookcase that I owned, and this one has basically all my other books. I kind of organized it by first genre and then by like series, but honestly it's really random so I can't really explain it. This is what it looks like, and it's right next to the door to the outside, and it is jam-packed. First we're going to start at the top of this bookcase. And obviously up here I have a couple books, but mostly a bunch of memorabilia stuff. All the way on the left is my copy of Hamilton the Revolution, aka the Hamilton. I have an ornament that my mother gave me, and it is a Taylor Swift ornament. It sings Shake It Off. I have the first housewarming gift I got by moving into this new room. My parents got me a gift card and they put it in this cute little tree and I just had to keep it up there because it's really cute. So then next to that I have a teddy bear that I got from one of my friends back when I was in like middle school and it's a Barnes and Noble bear so I feel like it deserves a spot on the bookcase. And then next to that I have my signed book plate thing um, of Lainey Taylor and I got it with Dreams of Gods and Monsters when that came out. Beneath that I have a couple books that my mom gave me. They're not really important, they're just like how-to books. So. I just kind of leave them up there so it gives it some more fullness. That is the top of my bookcase. This is all of my contemporary books. So all the way on the left is The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks, Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone, My True Love Gave to Me, which is a kind of a compilation of short stories edited by Stephanie Perkins, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, and Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. And next I have my Gail Foreman collection, which is Just One Day, If I Stay, and Where She Went. And then I have my Morgan Matson collection. So I have Since You've Been Gone, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, and my Arc of The Unexpected Everything. After that I have my Arc of Panic by Lauren Oliver. Then I have Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Allure Saints. After that I have The Tenth Circle by Jody Pico. And then I have my small Sarah Destin collection, Just Listen and The Truth About Forever. Then I have my Deb Coletti books, Honey Baby Sweetheart, The Fortunes of Indigo Sky, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And following that I have my mini Colleen Hoover collection, Maybe Someday, Slammed, Point of Retreat, and This Girl. My Slam series books are actually the UK covers because I think they're prettier. The last two books on my shelf, Shrinking Violet by Danielle Joseph and The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. So those are all my contemporary books. So now we're down to the second shelf on this bookcase. This is mostly fantasy books, but they're all just kind of like sorted by size and they're series, but they're not. It's a little confusing, I know. All the way on the left, we have The Rest of My Sort of Truth books by Terry Goodkind. These I bought in the large format, so I couldn't really put them next to my paperbacks. On the left is the first book in the series, Wizard's First Rule, and then we have the final two books in the series, Phantom and Confessor. Next is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, and I have just enough space on this shelf to slide Crooked Kingdom right in there. The next thing we have are my Lainey Taylor books, the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series. We have Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. And then we have my Fifth Wave series by Rick Yancey, The Fifth Wave, The Infinite Sea, and The Last Star. 
And no, I haven't read The Last Star yet, don't say a word. Next I have my Stephanie Meyer collection. So I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which is one of my all-time favorite books. The 10th anniversary edition of Twilight, which also has Life and Death, Twilight Reimagined. I haven't read Life and Death yet, but it's here. And then I have the Twilight series, which is Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. And that is all I have for this second shelf. The last shelf didn't make any sense. This shelf makes even less sense. This shelf has mostly all books of the same size. I have a couple series. Most of them are just single books that I have in a series. Some of them are standalones. It's just, you know, a mismatch of height, basically. All the way on the left, we have Zodiac by Romina Russell, The House of the Scorpion, The Revolution of Ivy, which is the sequel to The Book of Ivy by Amy Engel, The Martian by Andy Weir, Ready Player One by Ernest Cline, Mind Games by Kirsten White, From a Distant Star by Karen McQuestion, and then I have my uh, Dreamcatcher series by Lisa McMahon, and that is Wake, Fade, and Gone. After that, I have my Alex Bracken collection, and so I have my Arc of Passenger, and then I have the Darkest Minds series, which is The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, In the Afterlight, and finally I have the Darkest Minds novella bind-up, which is Through the Dark. Next I have Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi, Ruin and Rising by Leigh Bardugo, The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan, Uninvited by Sophie Jordan, Allegiant by Veronica Roth, Ignite Me by uh, Taha Damafi. And then I have the duology Control and Catalyst by Lydia Kane. And then I have Forget Tomorrow by Pintip Dunn. So that is my mismatched, weird height shelf. This next shelf makes a little bit more sense. It's all my series that are like children's series, I guess. All the way on the left, I have the Septimus Heap series by Angie Sage. I don't have the last three books in the series, but I have the first four. And those are Magic, Flight, Physic, and Quest. Next I have my Series of Unfortunate Events books by Lemony Snicket, and the Series of Unfortunate Events are The Bad Beginning, The Reptile Room, The Wide Window, The Miserable Mill, The Austere Academy, The Erzatz Elevator, The Vile Village, The Hostile Hospital, The Carnivorous Carnival, The Slippery Slope, The Grim Grotto, The Penultimate Peril, and The End. And last but not least on this shelf, I have all of my Heroes of Olympus books by Rick Riordan, and that series goes The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and The Blood of Olympus. And we're on to the next shelf! So this is the last shelf on this bookcase, and similar to some of the other shelves on this bookcase, it kind of makes no sense. I based it mostly around genre, but a little bit around height. All the way on the left, I have my graphic novels, which are Saga, and Nimona. And then I have my mini sampler arc of The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Next I have my Delight Volume 1 book that I actually have an essay in. If you want more information, ask me in the comments. Next I have Led Hope In by Pete Wilson. And these are kind of all my Christian-y books. So then I have Love Does by Bob Goff. After that I have my C.S. Lewis collection outside of the Chronicles of Narnia. And that is Mere Christianity, The Screwtape Letters, the Problem of Pain, The Great Divorce, and then I have my Space Trilogy books, which are Out of the Silent Planet, Paralandra, and Their Hideous Strength. If on a Winter's Night a Traveler by Italo Calabino, Into the Wild by John Krakauer, How Not to Write a Novel, and The Last Lecture by Randy Pausch. After that, I have The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, and then I have my two uh, Gillian Flynn books, Gillian Flynn, Bond Girl, and Dark Places. Following that, I have George Orwell's 1984. Then we have uh, The Final Empire, Mistborn Book One by Brandon Sanderson. After that, I have my copy of Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, Jim the Boy by Tony Early, and then I also have Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. Then I have some more children's books that didn't make it any of the other places. Ink Heart by Cornelia Fung, Coot by Carl Hiasson, Holes by Lewis Satcher, and Frendel. The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, and the Chronicles of Narnia are The Magician's Nephew, The Horse and His Boy, uh, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, and The Last Battle. Kenneth Branagh's Hamlet, which has a screenplay of the film and some behind-the-scenes stuff. Last but not least, the final book on this shelf is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Gabaldon? Gabaldon? So that is my second bookcase. So 
So this is my last shelf for my bookshelf tour and it's in a weird place. I have these like built-in bookcases that I usually don't use for books, but I needed more shelf space, so here we are. And uh, these are all the books that I got at BEA this year. Heartless by Marissa Meyer, My Strange the Dreamer Sampler by Lainey Taylor, Invincible Summer by Alice Adams, The Hamilton Affair by Elizabeth Cobbs, The Diabolic, Three Dark Crowns, Kids of Appetite by David Arnold, Leave Me by Gail Foreman, Rebel Genius by Michael Dante DiMartino, Furthermore by Taha Damafi, The Girl Who Drank the Moon, The Loose Ends List by Carrie Firestone, The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend by Katerina Bivald, The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, Ashes by Laurie Halse Anderson, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, and this is the UK cover, courtesy of my friend Julia at Julia Talks Too Much. And then finally I have Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. That is the final shelf on my bookshelf tour. That is my updated bookshelf tour. Obviously it's gonna change in the next 12 months. The next time I'll be doing this updated bookshelf tour will be next May slash June. And God only knows what that's gonna look like because I will be a college graduate by then. I don't even know where I'm living. It's fine. I have 12 months. I'll get over it. If you have any questions or comments or anything, obviously you can leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them. And yes, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!